Hey, hi guys. So this is continuation of my videos on Elasticsearch. So in this video, I am just following up from my previous video, and I will uh, introduce some more features of Elasticsearch. So this video will basically cover uh, index lifecycle management policy and the data streams. So index lifecycle management is basically uh, a way to define uh, policies around how to keep your index. So there is a lifecycle around it, uh, and those phases. There are phases like hot, warm, cold, and delete. Uh, so, based on the time, uh, amount of data, uh, or uh, the size of data, you can define those policies, and you can move data from hot, which is basically data which is actively uh, read and written, and then you can make it warm, basically some data which is uh, mostly read, and then uh, uh, cold, uh, which is uh, mostly like archival, and finally delete. The data which you no longer need. So, so I'll I'll cover I'll cover all those in this particular demo. So yeah, let's get started. So first, uh, I will create a component template. In my previous video, I talked about it. So this is basically you specify some settings which can be reused across your index template and the uh, index lifecycle uh, management ILM policy. So this is what I have given. Uh, so I am giving. Uh, uh, number of shards equal to one, and number of replicas equal to zero, and I get acknowledged equal to true. So this is all good. So uh, next, I will uh, just delete this, and I'll just confirm uh, the component template exists or not. So yeah, I am getting back uh, whatever I gave. So we, I can see my number of shards and number of replicas, one and replicas equal to zero. So that's all good. So okay. So next, what I can do is uh, I can create uh, my uh, index lifecycle management policy. So what I am doing is it has got phases. So you will see there are hot phase, there is a warm phase, and you define hot is immediately. So I am not taking any action. As soon as you put data, it will become hot. Then it become warm after seven days, and uh, you can do a force merge. Force merge is basically you combine into multiple segments into one. So I am giving max uh, number of segments equal to one, and next is cold uh, phase, which is uh, after 30 days. So minimum age means after that num many number of days, it should become cold, and uh, it can become fr uh, so action is freeze, uh, and finally delete. So after three months, 90 days, uh, action is equal to delete, and uh, I just send it across, and it's acknowledged. So my ILM policy is created, and the name of the policy is here. Uh, is here name of the policy is uh, is logs okay this is the name of the policy and uh, after I create this particular policy I can I can uh, confirm whether I can get it back so okay so it's all all good it creates this version also there's a third version uh, okay so next is uh, next I'll just create an index template uh, which will define um, uh, the index pattern uh, which is logs dash star so you are uh, any if you put any index with logs dash it will be uh, using this particular template i am giving composed of so composed of my settings which is component template this is uh, your uh, index pattern and finally uh, last one is i have given template index lifecycle name so this was the ilm policy which i created uh, in the previous step so this is what it is so this is acknowledged uh, and i can um, i can just confirm uh, i can just confirm if i can see my index template so i so I, whatever values i have provided it's showing correctly so index pattern composed of uh, log mappings data stream mapping and log settings which i gave this was the one which i it has picked up and others are default ones and yeah so that is it so once this is done i can i can just create an index so it's correctly it correctly came up and if i just do uh, get logs one the index i can see the all the settings which has which is number of shards and uh, what else here yeah, that's that is it settings and all okay all are default stuff okay so that is all and now I can just perform some cleanup. So I created a index named logs1 
I created an index template which was the name of was the logs and I created a component template my settings and I can delete the island policy name of the was logs so I can just go ahead and delete one by one so I just click here and press command enter command enter component template command enter and finally my island policy so all everything that I uh, created has been successfully deleted so I'll just then remove this and next I will uh, walk you through about data streams guys so data streams is also uh, can uh, leverage uh, ILM policy so in this case I am um, I have created like a like a hot phase and I am doing a rollover so uh, once the shard size uh, reaches 10 GB it will uh, it will do a rollover and it will create uh, once it uh, rolls over there is a force much which will make data go from hot directly to the yeah so i'll just explain again so once uh, once there is a rollover uh, there's a max number of segments equal to one and it will directly go into warm uh, phase so that's why i'm not giving any warm phase and next is uh, cold uh, phase so hot warm and next is cold after 30 days and finally after 90 days it will be uh, going into uh, delete action will be delete so so this is the ilm policy which i have given for uh, for okay this okay it's created uh, next i can just confirm my ilm policy so uh, ilm policy name is logs policy so that is also all good okay uh, next I need I can create a component template so this case this time I'm giving some different names like I'm giving uh, name equal to logs uh, dash component dash template and these are my template settings so uh, so in this I'm slight slightly different you will see that template has got number of shards and replicas and template can actually use uh, ILM policy index lifecycle management policy which is logs dash pair policy I have given it over here so it has so this component can be uh, reused across uh, my index templates or the indexes so this is all good like me confirm okay command return all good okay next i can just confirm so yeah nice all right uh, next i create an index template which will be using my uh, component template and which consists of logs policy and the and my uh, and index pattern so this is the how it looks like uh, in case of uh, data stream uh, you can just mention the index pattern which is same as any other index pattern so I'm giving logs dash stream star and but you have to just mention uh, data stream to indicate that this is the template for data streams and uh, here last is composed of which is uh, the component template which I created in previous step so this is all well and good so, uh, so okay uh, next uh, I can just confirm my index template log stash index template so it has it has successfully uh, retrieved and got created now next is I can uh, so this is how we just create a data stream so I can just command return and it has data stream has been created successfully and i can just do a get and this is how it looks like so here uh, name uh, here name equal to log stream and status equal to green and ilm policy uh, logs policy and the template which i gave logs index template so it has picked up all the value correctly so uh, okay. Next, I'll just do a cleanup of all the uh, objects that I have created. So, data stream uh, first, index template second, component template third, and the ILM policy fourth. So, I can go here first and uh, just press command enter one by one. Next, next, next. So, all the uh, objects are successfully deleted. So yeah this was a quick demo on index lifecycle management policy and data stream and how to use them in index template and also in component template so hope uh, you like this particular video please like share subscribe and comment thank you very much bye